a heavy coat this morning and tomorrow you may need the boggin and the mittens because temperatures just continue uh, to drop significantly with this Arctic air that's moving in at least for a couple of days. But then by the weekend we do see temperatures begin to moderate and also some rain moves this way as we head into the first weekend of December. Cold this morning, temperatures are already below freezing in spots Coleman, Haleyville, Fayette, all at 30 degrees. It's 36 in the Birmingham Metro as well as Pell City, Gazin at 34 matching DeKalb County. So cold, you need the coat today and you really won't want to let go of it through the afternoon because it doesn't warm up all that much. But looking ahead to tomorrow morning, we're all below freezing 30 degrees, some spots much colder and then Wednesday morning as well. We'll see some 20s across central Alabama. It will feel colder than that. And even this morning, the northwest wind are really having an impact. It's kind of biting cold outside. And by the end of the week, again, temperatures warm up a little bit closer to average the lows and the highs. But we've got plenty of sunshine in the forecast today, so we'll feel warmer. Yesterday, we were looking up at a cloudy sky, but today, some sunshine. Highs peak right near 50 degrees, maybe a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler in some spots, but not all that warm temperatures below average and this evening it gets cold fast even with some clouds sticking around. There is no rain to speak of on our WVTM 13 Live Doppler radar. Most of the states are dry. That Arctic air really just kind of spreading over the entire uh, really part of the country and it's much drier air too. So wiping the air of any moisture, you can see the northerly flow there uh, clearing the sky. By the weekend, we do look for some more rain, which we are still rooting for. We need some rain to see the drought completely fade. And so a disturbance looks to move in and some clouds will increase by Thursday night. Night. Friday morning looks like some widespread showers and some of them heavy in spots, especially towards South Alabama. This is where the best moisture concentration will be uh, typically. And then by Friday afternoon into Friday evening, it does look a little, a little bit drier for now. So hopefully uh, that plays uh, accordingly for high school football playoffs on Friday night. Saturday, some more showers and then even on Sunday, some waves of energy uh, move around in the atmosphere and it looks like we get some more showers on Sunday. So hopefully uh, getting at least a couple inches of rain from this. The models are kind of varying at this point with how much we see. So we'll watch that and keep you updated, but it is extremely cold. Let me just go ahead and show you tomorrow morning when you're waking up the feels like in the 20s. So heavy coat needed. Give yourself some extra time in the morning and it's very similar on Wednesday. By the weekend, a little warmer, closer to average with some showers. Back to you.